Put my phone down. <sighs> We're putting the phones down. We're getting the water up because we got to stay hydrated before we commentate this match. FX DFW Wobbles versus Mortality Axe. Wobbles right now reminding me of Morpheus from The Matrix. A little bit with those shades. I'm just saying. And it, it's, it, it's fitting because Axe is almost Neo-esque in this sense. You know, seeing as they both did play a lot together back when Wobbles was in Arizona. I can, I can see the likeness there. Yeah. You can liken them to, but they don't seem, they don't look like it, but yeah. You, you, you get the drift. Guys, what are you saying, Wobbles? Right now, we're going to see Marth I told versus you, Ice Climbers. He has a pocket Marth, though to be fair, all right. I was talking to Ark about this. Ark and Wobbles go toe-to-toe -to -toe all the time for our regionals here. Okay. And he always chooses Peach to combat Wobbles' Ices. It just feels like to win as Marth, you need to win so many times in neutral. And Wobbles using things like those blizzards, those ice blocks, is going to make it so difficult for Axe to really get in. So you can see already right here, Axe is just trying to space with these four tilts, four airs. Also, the down tilt is a great tool, but Wobbles just pushing through with the dash attack, trying to see if he can come up with a creative combo. Gets stuck in the air. Let's see the escape option. Wow, I'm really surprised. And remember, Axe, he still has that great movement. So if anyone's going to be avoiding some of the uh, options, stuffs that Wobbles is going to be throwing out, it's going to be Axe. And there it is. Already leading into the combo, you always have to watch out for that blizzard from the Ice Climbers. Wobbles, of course, setting up with these these things so well, even against a character that has great range with his sword. Wow, that was a great little down tilt there, knocking Nana away. Oh, Nana's all by himself. I'm surprised that we didn't see uh, Axe trying to just do a forward smash or something on Nana. Wow. Well, the getup attack looked like it might have worked out. Yeah, it did he's keep them separated. Yep, he's nice forward smash on Nana there, but he doesn't even need it as he's able to take that first stock from Wobbles. Yeah, I really like how he just keeps close to Wobbles, and then once Nana gets close enough, he'll swat Nana away. That way he can just keep the positional advantage. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. You're seeing, you're seeing Axe once again just trying to set some walls up with those fairs. Yeah, he's trying to really clip uh, Pokemon Nana. And oh. worth noting is because the damage differences at different lengths, and because each of the ICs have uh, their own damage counters, there might be a situation where you'll do actually do more damage to Nana, which means it's going to be easier to knock her out in the long run. One thing I wanted to also touch on is the fact that you see Axe opting for the platforms quite a bit. Nice stuff by Nana, keeping him safe. But yeah, the platforms align him to avoid the ice blocks, the Blizzard. Oh, good grab and a great conversion by Wobbles as he's on the board. All right, let's see what Axe does when he comes through. Smart like shielding right there by, ooh, So Wobbles. many dodges. Are we going to see a Wobble? I don't think so. Not yet. He, I feel like he's saying that he only wants to Wobble if he really needs to. Yeah. Maybe saving him for the last stock situation like he did against West Balls. Oh, is Nana going to make it back? Yes, she is. He's going to look bad. He's going to use the belay. Good stuff to recover. Nice avoidance of all those projectiles. Opportunity to hit Nana, but again, focusing on Popo. I love it right here by Axe. One stock lead. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have this problem where they sometimes just tunnel vision on Nana, and that doesn't seem to be Axe's game at all. He's more so worried about just keeping them separated in general, and then when he has the opportunities, finishing Popo off. Great range. You see how he's spaced right outside of the, uh, the attack from Wobbles, allowing him to get the neutral air. Luchale popping the opponent up, allowing him to get more conversions as well. And you oh, see, oh, wow. And you saw that was a shield drop by Wobbles, but Axe was already prepared. And you can already see that Pikachu practice paying off. Axe loves using those nares, and he's so good at using them at the perfect height, getting some great coverage. Looks like Wobbles right there messed up a decent combo, allowing Axe to have control of the stage, fairing him, nearing him off. Okay, Invincible Nana. Oh, smart. He belayed right into a perfectly spaced forward smash by Axe, who's sitting so solid, three stocks to one. Nice stuff, but he gets hit by the down smash. Great DI is not going to save him there, and it's just a one stock difference. A grab will do it. He gets the grab. Can we see some style? Wow, nice stuff right there by Nana, allowing Marth to just get back. Nice snares. There's a pickup. Ooh, down That's air. Oh, but the belay saving Wobbles, but he still gets hit by that fair at the end. Yep. And I'm looking now. She's like, "Hey, you can't, you can't get that get away for free. Give those free extra pot shots in." That's true. <laughs> nice back air, forcing Axe off of the stage, but he gets back on miraculously, able to get him with some aerials. I'm liking it because Axe is using the most of that disjointed hitbox really to just keep Popo and Nana separated. Last stock situation. Wobbles needs one grab, and he can make this happen. 
I'm surprised how Axe did not even try to use his invincibility to get in on Wobbles. But, oh. all right, maybe he didn't eat it. Very true. Axe is so good with those forward smashes, especially off of those throws. He does just the right mix-ups, he waits just the right amount of time, and he positions himself in a way where even if he doesn't get the tipper, he's in such a great position regardless. Yeah, those throws are so quick that if you're not DIing appropriately, you will get caught off guard and in range, and be in range for a tipper. So let's go straight to the next game with Axe again, spacing with fairs and using the platforms at the right times. I'm liking that he drops on the platform, clips him with a very quick back air. Interesting options from Axe. Oh, he's oh. trying to get some zoning with those down tilts. Went a little bit too close. Exactly. Wobbles is able to get that grab. Nice cross up right there. And low shield, but Wobbles has enough range on his wave dash to be able to come in and punish. And there, Axe, he might have recognized how low Wobbles' shield was and how Wobbles was he's very content to stay in that shield. That's why we saw a quick uh, shield break attempt. But that wave dash down smash does the trick. And notice that Wobbles, anytime he does that, he'll pivot because it actually comes out from the rear first. Really smart stuff. Very smart. Oh, I thought that might have been another stock. It very well could be. Look at these grabs. Oh. And... Ooh, not going to be enough. Let him go at a little bit too early of a percentage. Hits him with the ice block. Gets up a little bit too early, but it doesn't matter as Axe went a little too low and wobbles. Wow, look at how different this game is. Yeah, smart stuff right there by Axe. And already taking it straight to Nana. Nice squall hammer, but the tipper right there and wobbles. Come on, Nana, be a champion. Oh, that could be the end of Nana. It's certainly the end of Popo. Those were some consistent tippers by Axe until <laughs> we hit Nana there. <laughs> and Axe is like, hey, hey, Nana, you're not getting away scot free either. I felt that grab. It's facing right here again. Pushing Wobbles back, but Wobbles trying to inch forward. So, so crazy how the how control just goes back and forth in this game, man. Oh, and good spacing also by Wobbles. He was just out of range from that tipper F smash that Axe threw out. And I like the way that Axe used that downer as well. That sweeping arc covered so much ground there. The back air from Wobbles puts him off stage. And I like that back air because what Axe went for was a neutral air cross up forward smash. Wobbles was not trying to get caught by that again. So he back aired immediately out of shield before the forward smash even came out. Okay. Axe is down to just one stock here. I'm wondering what options he's going to be looking for. He's had a hard time really putting those walls up like we saw at the beginning of the game. That was such a critical, critical down to that he did there. And I like the Nair as well to swat away Nana. And yeah, exactly. It separated both characters. Ooh. Going for an immediate double there, but got, got a hit with the tail end. Yeah, the Nickelodeon combo didn't quite work out there. <laughs> nice dash passes again. I like the grab from, from Wobbles. Ooh. Doesn't want to overcommit, though. He's at such a high percentage. Did he just crouch cancel the squall hammer to get Yes, that? sir. Smart not, stuff. Not that much knockback. Bet. I like Wobbles. the DI after get he got there so that Axe would not be able to follow up. Ooh, Axe is trying to get some crouch cancel shenanigans right now. Right yes. now, a Axe needs to not keep taking extra damage, yeah, knowing that he has, to keep, he has to end the Ice Climbers two more times after this. That's true. I'm surprised we haven't seen an up throw yet from Axe. Oh, he makes it back <laughs> on stage, and somehow, in the strangest of edge play, Axe ends up losing that stock. These insane evasive maneuvers. Good stuff by Wobbles, tying the set right here. And now, we saw the first two games on Battlefield. Uh, where are we going next? Ice Climbers, Marth. Well, I mean, he, then again, we might even see a character switch. You're right. Axe does have a plethora of pocket characters. We're going back to this character select screen. That's are right. you a Prophet D1? Maybe. I mean, Maybe. we've been we've, I've <laughs> been around for a while. That's true. Don't call so it a comeback. <laughs> it's the strength, man, of having uh, multiple characters under your belt. You can just choose a stage. Whoa! I know he has a lot of characters. I did not expect the Fox. One what? thing is for sure, we're going to be seeing some great movement from Axe. And with this counter pick having that low ceiling up throw, up airs, up smashes, all of those options are going to be so much more effective. I'm oh. extremely surprised right now to see Axe Fox. Hey, you got you to bust out all the tricks. Yep. And it's working out pretty well. Oh, Only 23% and Nana is already gone. We saw that match against West Balls though. Wobbles is so solid when it's even just Popo. Okay. Oh, was that side B intentional? Yes. What he wanted to do was a drill shine, an instant jump cancel side B because the ice climbers slide way too far back after you mm. shine them. That would have been a uh, guaranteed combo. Interesting. Once again, you're seeing Axe relentless with these shines, trying to keep Popo and Nana separated. Oh, he's piling on some good percentage already. 30%. He's really earning his extra credit. Wow, that was a great dash dance by Axe. 
using the fox trots in between. Nice up air, not gonna be enough. I think that the next one at that height would do it though. Uses the belay, gets back up. I like the down smash, keeping them separated. Oh! <laughs> didn't even need to take out Nana. Wobbles down to just two. Really good awareness right there by Axe. And, oh, Nana goes right back to Popo. Great shines. Oh, he didn't oh, get that last one, though. That looked like a bait by Axe. He shined right on top of Wobbles and double jumped. That's a bait. Really smart stuff. Nice up air. Once again, not going to be enough. I like the nares as well on Nana when he had that opportunity. Trying, there it is. Like I said, pivot, wave dash, down smash. That is one of Wobble's favorite things to do. Nice grab. Oh, can you get another one? Maybe. Oh, I thought we were about to see a Wobble. That's what I was waiting for, especially with the deficit. It's true. But Wobbles is still feeling pretty confident, I feel. You can look at him. Well, I mean, you can't really see his eyes right now because of those, <laughs> those, those, those great shades that he's got on. There it is. The sign illusion to up air. Smart stuff taking out Nana. Oh, and that down smash clips him. The forward smash, not going to be enough. Wobbles once again with some spectacular DI. Oh, doesn't get the right hitbox on that up smash, but he lets that fly <laughs> with that charge forward smash. Wobbles down to just one. I like the running dash attack. Oh, was that a mash? Did he just let him go trying to anticipate that he would hit with the forward smash? Definitely a mash. Really good stuff by Axe. <laughs> he was practicing a Mario Party for that one. Good lord. <laughs> Get up throw, and here's the follow-ups. Axe deciding to just, oh, wow, missing the tech and going inside. Oh, Nana's gone. Oh, wow. And She's this out of play. This is not what Wobbles wants. He's down to just one IC. Axe has three stocks, and it's his last stock. That was an insane wave dash down smash right there by up Axe. throw. I thought Wobbles. we were going to see an up air, actually. Good stuff by Axe, recognizing that that option would not have converted. But now Wobbles is at that, a very dangerous percent. I think an up smash, an up throw, up air, it would do the trick. And even a back air at this point would really put Wobbles in a terrible position. Gets Great grab. right shield. Uh -huh. Oh, he was trying to fish for that second grab. Axe with that patience. And there was that shine after the duel that you mentioned before. Yes, sir. Oh, very tense moment. Nice down tilt. Can he get the confirm? Oh, just a little bit too late. Ooh. Oh, down smash. Max with some great patience today. Just waiting for Wobbles to make a defensive option and then punishing it. Fourth throw? Down throw? Okay, fourth throw. Get him off stage. Set up for an edge guard. I like the decision. But that squall hammer making it difficult. I like the get up attack. Haven't seen very many of those this set. That shine does the trick. And we're going to game number four. Quatro. That's it. Ooh. Axe is the truth, man. Axe Maximus. Busting out Marth and now Fox. He hasn't even played Pikachu yet. He hasn't even played the character we know and love him for yet. And look back at the character select screen. I'm sure that Wobbles, he's gained some information. The Young Link. You can see the hype from the crowd already. On this stage as well? Okay. Wow. I was wondering if it was like Dreamland or something, but this stage, Young Link. Let's see what Axe has for us. Yeah, you know, we've seen Axe make it work. We've seen Armada make it work in the past. Let's see if he can make it work here against Wobbles. Great grab. Oh, was not able to get the full punish he was hoping for. That's unfortunate. Gets another one. Maybe a shot at redemption here. Wow, that turnaround grab was so clutch. Not going to be quite enough, though. Great tether recovery. Great stuff right there by Axe. He's trying to come back on stage, but that dare was probably not the best. <laughs> he did a good <laughs> job of separating Popo and Nana. Unfortunately, it was at too low of a percentage to really capitalize afterwards. Ah, good point right there, JV. Separating Popo and Nana. The bombs are can be a good tool for that. Oh, wow. He tried to get that forward smash to happen, but Axe answered back so quickly. Really good forward air there. Tries to get the snipe for good measure. Smart. Oh, and I'm liking it. Look at that shield from Wobbles once again deteriorating. Did you see how far Wobbles slides with those wave dashes? It's like oh, perfect. Yeah. He's so crisp with those. And nice jab. Not even trying to deal with the boomerang. Wobbles having a hard time here. He took out that first stock with relative ease. He needs to make something happen. He wants to really get that extra credit here. 
Another opportunity. Try to go for the dare, and I see Axe probably even reaching for the edge cancel, but misses it. Surprised we actually didn't see a back throw there from Wobbles. I thought he'd be going for an edge guard attempt instead. Nice nair from Axe. He has the bomb out, setting him up for that <laughs> second nair, and Axe is on the board. What did I tell you about that edge cancel? <laughs> <laughs> but good stuff, the double back air by Wobbles. And Wobbles having a good time playing Axe. He really is. These yeah. two are friends. They go way back. Of course. Great training partners as well. Oh, wow. Back air is there. Makes both of them stick. I'm digging the nair as well. Axe is doing such a good job with these low profile aerials, making it really hard for Wobbles to get those grabs in. Oh, and there goes Mana. That's a good edge guard. Four throw setup. I oh. like the ice block. It does go down. It has a really good trajectory to catch people who are trying to double jump. There's the back throw that I was expecting last time. Axe with a great tether recovery, and the ice block hits, but he's able to make it back regardless. Interesting. Let's see how he's going to try to come back on stage. Goes a bit high with the Squall Hammer, and no neutral air from Axe. Instead, going for a fair. Interesting. Oh, yeah, and Axe is playing very non committal as well. Not going to be seeing any forward smashes really from him. Where's the boomer? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> and there's that down smash from Wobbles. Wow, he is one stock away from taking this to game five. Axe having a bit of difficulty taking out Popo right now. The Nair hits. He's going to try to clip him with the bomb. Up air. Even with that high ceiling, he's able to make that conversion happen. Look at how many bombs are on stage. And those bombs on stage actually do a lot because a big part of Wobble's games is his movements, particularly with that wave dash. And what that means with the bombs on the stage is that he's not going to be as comfortable just using those. Oh, indeed. There's a chase. Nice stuff with that forward air. Wow, what a way to take out Nana. Yeah, great knockback right there in the down smash. Follow up. Axe has brought Woo! this back. Look at this, taking 37% and two stocks. Doing a really good job in the incremental game here. He has to be very careful, though. He can't get grabbed. He's done a great job so far. He's only been grabbed one time this set. Wow, just down smashing Wobbles right in the face. Oh, the grab comes, but not a big enough punish by Wobbles. Nice cross-ups with the back air. Nana is... She's gone. Can Wobbles do it? Can Wobbles hang in there? It's just Popo against the world. Oh! The Ty rush down with Young Link. Oh my, this could be bad. Oh, but Axe barely misfaces that down smash. A down smash from Wobbles put, puts Axe in a bad position. He does spin attack, makes it though that he can recover. Ooh, he clips it with the Nair. And he doesn't go for a bomb. Oh! Wow. And great DI from Wobbles once again. He's living. Oh! oh! A little bit too far. But Axe clutching it out with, he was down three stocks to one D1. Three stocks to one, and he brought it all the way back, taking that in game number four. Very impressive plays all around by Axe. And that's the thing, yeah. you know, Axe yeah. recognizes that Wobbles is so good at just downloading that information, so he throws in the mix-ups, not only with his style, but with his characters as well. Oh, thank you so much. That was so much fun to watch. Axe confirmed top two. This is his tournament to He's win. He's on the winner's side of grand finals here in this tournament. Look how happy this man is. He's you guys can't really see him, but he's standing right in front of us here at the commentary booth talking to all the players here who are really happy to see him get in the winner's side, representing, the, representing his home state, Arizona. AZ. Yep. Shout and out to all the AZ folks. I know there's so many of you tuned in. Typo, how many viewers are we at right now on stream? 71,000, y'all. Seven, oh, 7,100. I was like, 71,000, 1.21 gigawatts. <laughs> y'all, where's this 400 away? I need some hype. We're about to get into loser's bracket. It's going to be Wobbles against a Fox main this time. Not a Falco main, a Fox main. You know, Red, he's been on the come up. We saw some great play from him today. He can make this happen. He really can. Look at how close West Balls was. The one thing, though, is he needs to be on his mix-up game because Wobbles is so good whenever he's starting to ta recognize people's patterns. He's such a smart player, such a cerebral player, that if he can get a hold of exactly what Red's going to do in certain situations, that's when the turnaround's going to happen. Mm. That's going to be tough. Let's See. tweet it out. Yeah, I believe Red is just about ready. Yeah. I mean, I don't see any hand warmers going on. I don't either. He's just focusing on Are the they screen. good to go, Typo? 
All right, I think they are discussing stages. And while we're waiting, 